Hey everyone, Tyler Benny here. Thanks for joining in on my vlog. Um, I have some special guests today um, on my vlog, but before I introduce you, I want to show you a small commercial about a big revolution. You'll see what I mean. This is Paul. Paul has had a smartphone for a very long time. But he is learning that while Siri may be smart, she can't answer those practical questions about life. Siri, should I date Tamika? And when? Siri, Tamika's not the one. How do I cope? Siri, I have church early in the morning, but I can beat this game by 4 a.m. Easy. Should I keep playing? Siri, I'm not feeling very productive today. What should I do? This is Paul two months ago. This is Paul today. What's the difference, you may ask? Introducing the all-new iDPod, featuring a free version of the world-renowned app, Ask Pastor Billy. Simply press the home button and ask Billy your question. Pastor Bill, I'm thinking about reading the whole Bible in a year. What are your thoughts? I'm all fired up over that. Wow, thanks Bill. I mean, uh, Pastor Bill. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to call you by your first name there. What a terrible decline in character. What? Really? No. <laughs> That's a good one, Billy. Though not always easy to hear, the iPod will give you the words you need when you need them. Pastor Billy, if I give up playing video games, will I be ready to get married? There are very many things that are wrong with you. Whoa, like how many things are we talking about here? 20, 25, 30. Well, okay, well, how many years do I have to wait until I can get, like, married? Um, four. Wow, that really stinks. But I'm going to take your word for it. Users are finding all sorts of creative opportunities to use their iPod. Hey, Pastor Billy? I'm really nervous when I meet people, so, like, what's a good introduction to make? Hey, I'm Joseph. Hey, I'm Joseph. Hey, I'm Jack. Uh, would you like to meet my friends? Hey, Pastor Billy, he wants me to meet his friends, and I don't want to, so what should I do? You probably knew signed up it wasn't going to be a rose garden or a cakewalk and it isn't I know but I kind of just want to go home and make pancakes right now brother you can make pancakes anytime make pancakes for lunch after church you're right I'll meet his friends it's the iPod now available in stores everywhere well I'm proud to announce to you today that I have the man behind the pod, Billy Eyed himself, via online phone call, as well as the strong team of elders from Covenant of Grace Church. Hey everyone. Well, good morning everyone. Good morning Billy, Bert, Jace. You know, um, I have to say though that my questions today will primarily be directed to Billy. Uh, no offense here, right guys? Right Bert? You can call me Al. Um, okay Al. Uh, you don't mind if I primarily talk to Billy, do you? Okay, well, let's get into the Word. If you can open your Bibles with me to... Uh, oh, hold on, hold on there, uh, Al. Uh, we don't really have the time today for a, a sermon. I know you're a pastor, but um, uh, moving on. Um, so, Billy, how do you feel about the success of the iPod around the world? I am smiling a lot inside. That makes sense. You know, you're a man with a lot of wisdom, but not everybody knows that you're a really good joke teller. Do you mind if I tell some of the jokes that you told me? You better not do that. Okay, you got it. Whew. Hey, Al, is he normally this protective about his jokes? <laughs> um, Al? What, I can't call you Al anymore? I just don't find it amusing anymore. Well, then what should I call you? Jace, what should I call him? Batman and the Dark Knight. <laughs> Why, does Bert have a dream of being Batman or something? And this is no dream, though. This is reality. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Well, well, Bert, I hope you don't mind that uh, Jace just kind of blew your cover there. That's not helpful. 
Okay, you know what? I think we got this whole thing off to a rough start. Let's let's go back in time, if you will. Let's push the hand of the clocks back. Talk tick, talk tick. Exactly. Talk tick. Uh, Billy, I understand that you love reading books. Um, have you ever read uh, The Christmas Carol? Twice. Wow. I, I wish I could take the time to read it all to you. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Billy. I've already read it. Um... Uh, you know, I just, I just love the, the spirit of Christmas past. You know, I think, it's, I think it's the best spirit. That would be the wrong spirit. Well, it's just a matter of opinion, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on to your early childhood. Now, being a man of much wisdom, I was wondering, as an infant, what, what were your first words? Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Wow! I don't even know who that is! This is one of the first things that I said. It's always been burned in my memory. Well, I bet it was. Hey, let's move on to homeschooling. Uh, what are your thoughts? I know that some in your church homeschool. Um, the Wilson family comes to mind. And this is how, really, Jacob screwed up his family. Whoa, whoa, hey there. Let's uh, be nice. <laughs> I, You know, um, perhaps we should move on. Uh, you know, uh, Jordan Work from your congregation sends a shout-out. So, uh, anything that you'd like to, uh, say about Jordan? We'll obviously never outgrow him. <laughs> uh, yes, I understand. He's a tall man. Uh, but anything else? I mean, really, the guy, the guy thinks you're pretty big stuff. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> how about you, Bert? Um, any words about Jordan? It's a process that can go on at any time of life, right? Oh, what does that mean? Uh, no offense, but that's a little vague. He's not being vague. Okay, <laughs> fine, he's not vague. Uh, let's move on. Uh, the eldership at Covenant of Grace. Uh, Billy, on a typical day, what is it like working with Bert and Jace? Truth and love. Grace and law. Wow, that's really ideal. But tell me, when it gets tough with those guys, what would you really like to say to them? Guards, take them right now and place them in arms and put them in prison. Seriously? Isn't that a bit over the top? It would have been just. Whew. Billy isn't pulling the punches here, Bert. Anything to say in your defense? There's plenty of available things to blame. Well, what would you say to Billy in response? You can run, but you can't hide. This is getting really heated. Yeah, I didn't expect that from the good things that I heard about you guys. You know, uh, no offense, Billy, but I'm a little disappointed here. Uh, the man I heard about was kind and slow to anger, patient and full of wisdom and love, but this doesn't sound like the man I'm talking to. Wait a minute. Your area code is from California. You can't be the real Bill-Eyed. But if, if you're not the real Billy, then who are you?